you love, show you what a nigga bout Damn, we gon' ride till the wheels fall off We can slide through the city, baby, and we can duck off I hate it when we argue, you be like, hey nigga, fuck off But me and you both know we super glue, so we can't fall off Fuck what they speaking on your name, baby, no, it's cool Protect the slide through the city with me, no, I keep a two Let's wake them up, all these niggas and bitches, yeah, they on snooze Anything you want, purse is closed, even buy some shoes what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Chris, back at it again with a new vid from 901's Five Kicks. So, yeah, so today is a very exciting day for me. I ain't gonna stunt. This right here is definitely one of my all-time favorite shoes. This is slick, sort of like a grill for me. Um, and I'm definitely glad that I was able to get it. And the crazy thing is, like, we know that this shoe actually is going to drop this Saturday, but it's been two shot drops on Nike sneakers app. And I missed the first one, and then I missed the second one just barely. And I'm like, dang. It's like, I was like, man, how in the world am I end up getting this shoe? You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get it early so I could do the review. And I don't even know. I remember them talking about it. And I did something, I don't know. But I, I got entered in a little contest to be able to purchase an early pair from Kicksate. I think that's what it's, that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'll probably look at the paper once I open up the box. It, it should have some type of receipt or something in on the inside of it with a name on it. But, and so I got a message on on Instagram that I won the pair of shoes. And that, I mean, to me, that was like a complete surprise. And hey, I mean, I'm I'm down for it. So, so right here, we finna get ready to unbox it. I just received it today. Just got it from the UPS man about 20, 30 minutes ago. So we finna go ahead and jump into this and go and give you that early review. But definitely, if this is your first time to the channel, please do subscribe. Hit that notification bell, like, comment, let's do the thing, let's conversate in the chat. Like always, I love getting to know any and everybody. And we finally reached that that, that particular um threshold that I that I had set for myself a little while back. It, it came across a little bit later than before, but either way, I'm very humble. We reached a hundred. Uh, plus subscribers so far so definitely at some point I'm, I'm still trying to figure out everything but at 250 whatever, so. I'm going to give away something I don't know what it is but I got it in the works and definitely once I get there and figure out everything I will post it on the IG and I also will put it in one of my next videos that's going to upcome but let's go ahead and get to it right here is the box and um, this came in a Nike box, Nike sneakers box or whatever, just still it tape or whatever because um, I think he probably ended up hitting on one of the early pairs and you know he just pretty much just resold it or whatever and because it's you know it has some kind of tape on top of it like it came from Champs or something but let's go ahead and pop it open Jordan 4 box. It's beautiful. Kind of. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw that over there. It doesn't have actually like a packing slip or anything in it unless it's inside the actual box itself. But as with any Jordan 4 box, um, black lid with the flight and the red Jumpman on it. And then on the bottom, it has the cement speckled uh, bottom part of the box. On here, it is a men's size 10 uh, Air Jordan 4 Retro. The color description is black, fire red, cement gray. And the suggested retail on this is $200. So let me show y'all the label and how it should come. 
when you receive your pairs. Go and pop open this lid and put that over there. Woo! You just definitely got that glue smell to it. I mean, it's almost like a like them Jordan One glue smell. Ooh. Here go the shoe. You gonna hang your both of these just up out of here real quick. Put that box over there. Ooh. Definitely uh got like a little smudge or something on the front of it. Look like it's it kind of wipe wipe off, but definitely, man, this new book on this junk is like smooth. It's buttery soft. But yeah, let me go ahead and get it close up on the camera so y'all can see everything on it. Go and give it a quick go around. OG Nike tag. And then of course, the major thing, get that Nike ear on the ass. And I don't see, I don't see no flaws that I can just tell from a quick glance over. Like everything looks to be pretty decent. And you got a tiny bit of little glue, you know, glue stains right at the very edge of the new bug. But other than that, everything on these joints is straight as can be. Uh... Same thing with the bottoms. We got the Nike with the check on the bottom of them. So the outsole of it, you got the red, the white with the red Nike check. Then you got that, that cement gray, and then another white pod, and then the fire red in the front. So definitely um, it's a major, it's a major colorway. This is this is one of those grills and shoot. I'm glad to be able to add this one to the collection. Definitely, I don't see this bad boy going anywhere. But I will say one thing that I have heard, like everybody said, this pull tab on the back of this just is flimsy as shit. I mean, I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> that just dumb, <laughs> dumb thing. Cause, uh, yeah, the pull tab on this one is, it's a lot thicker and firmer, but the pull tab or the little tab on the back on this joint, it's like super thin. I don't know, they kind of they kind of cheaped out on us on, on this right there. And then I know another thing that a lot of people complain about is that the Nike Air, with the Nike with the check actually, is sort of a little bit further to the left than what it's supposed to be, like on the original. So. I don't know. I guess that was the one thing that they kind of tried to do where I guess you could difference between the 1999 version or the original 1989 version where they could say, okay, well, yeah, this ain't the that such or whatever. But that's the only thing difference that I've seen from pictures and everything between the 1989 and the 1999 pair. So definitely, definitely uh, I'm messing with them. These joints don't look like they're going to be too ashy or nothing like that. Um, it's pretty much about the same kind of material like on the infrared sixes, it feels like. Yeah. It actually... I'm going to be real. It might be a little bit better than the infrared six new book. Because like Rubbing the infrared six new buck, it's kind of it sounds like sandpaper. But you rub this one, it's it's a it's a lot smoother. You might not be able to pick up that sound or not, but the texture on it is a little bit more smoother. So it definitely does feel a little thinner, but it's a lot smoother. So but yeah, but as always, this young Chris from 901's Five Kicks. This is my review or early review on a Jordan 4 black 
cement or bread or whatever you want to say. There's a lot of different, you know, names that you can go for or whatever, but definitely fire dope shoe. Glad to have it in the collection. And we're just going to keep on, keep on adding to it. So OG colorways, definitely got to try to get them whenever possible. But this 901's five kicks and we added this junk. Peace. I got two more sauce. Dripping sauce, dripping sauce, I be dripping sauce. Two more sauce, two more sauce, I got two more sauce. She like my sauce, like my sauce, she said she like my sauce. I'm making all these plays now, I feel like a young boss.